Hey, this is Jenny Jones. I am back here from the Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, I got another tool I wanted to put in front of you. Um, and as you know, if this is your first time coming to this channel, you can go ahead and subscribe here and ring the notification because I'm always trying to bring different tools, different resources, or different ways to grow your business and help you increase your bottom line. There's a lot of hacks out here. Uh, I'm just trying to bring you at least one or two when I show up my videos. Um, so this is a hack that actually let's go back to the tool and then I'll tell you the hack that I used. Um, <clears throat> so this is a tool that's currently now on AppSumo called Perkzilla, right? And I let, I'm not going to get hung up on the name. And when I saw it, I was like, Perkzilla, you know, and sometimes there's those names. He's like, ah, you know, I wonder what that's about. Well, I cracked this little baby open and uh, I was surprised, right? I've seen a couple of campaigns or contests running um, social media software out there. And uh, I've seen a couple of them. I've seen about maybe five or six of them, right? And this one has a mixture and a combination of a couple of them. And I don't like to mix names and throw out other names. Um, some of them give you a whole lot. And then some of them say, ah, just give me just a much. So, what I loved about this particular offering that they have, let me kind of go over it with you real quick here. Um, this is for entrepreneurs and marketers who want to expand their audience without relying on paid advertising. I love that. It's like, hey, anytime I can avoid paying for advertising and try to get uh, some type of traction or some type of footprint um, to my uh, digital properties, uh, I love that. And that's what I loved about this tool liked about this tool is um so and it's a fairly inexpensive way to uh grow your business right so for really a 59 dollar purchase you can have 10,000 participants five websites one team my one teammate and light branding right for 59 dollars um you can run a campaign in facebook or youtube and you can burn through 59 dollars really quick but if you had a tool like this it's called Perkzilla because you can try to create these little contests or these shareable rewards for your clients. Now, <clears throat> I'm not even going to show you in this video. I may show you in another video where it's more related. I'll try to put tools in one video and then I'll, I'll try to put hardcore strategies uh, in another video. I will show you a little hack that I did use, but I'm not going to get into the full details of how I did it here. I just kind of want to show you what I use and what my reason why I use it. So let's work through the little tool here. So when you first load up, right, it has uh, campaigns here, right? And you can start, you can open, you can start a new campaign by clicking here. These are just some sample campaigns I did. And one of them was some other campaigns as I got closer to try to figure out what I wanted to do. I didn't really know what I wanted to do at first, but let me show you what happens when you click on new campaigns because it gives you a selection of them. And I'm gonna go back to where we were in a minute here. But so what happens is you have the opportunity when you come into Perkzilla, this is a referral marketing monster is what it's called. You can run a contest, right? You can run a giveaway. You can run a refer a friend. You can drive more traffic by um, telling people this one kind of works a little bit like um, the sumo one where you can make people go, hey, like my page here, like my YouTube channel, like my blog, leave a comment on my blog, so on and so forth. So that's um, that's how you can drive more traffic. And then this one's early access, right? You're promoting something, putting a waiting list together. I think this is the inexpensive way to get a waiting list landing page. We always kind of want to know what people are going to do when they get to a waiting list. And we want to offer people or incentivize them for going to a waiting list. So these are your your five options, right? And in my hack, I use refer a friend, right? Because the way I set up my refer a friend, and I'll just tell you the hack now, and the reason why I use it that way is my refer a friend, I used it where I gave away um, a certain amount of scholarships, reduced scholarships to one of my trainings, one of my learnings. And I says, hey, listen, if you want your friend to get the same savings, you want your friend to get the same discount or you have a buddy, everybody has a buddy. So I created this like a buddy referral. Hey, I'm going to allow you to bring one guest for the same price that you got in for. And I use this whole referral friend. You could use any one of these five any way you'd like. Uh, I don't like to do giveaways. I think people, 
use them for spam or people don't just believe they would win, right? Unless it's something really expensive like a car or something like that. I just don't use those as much. I like to refer a friend for a buddy. Everybody has a buddy that if they feel that they're getting a good deal, they always want to share it with at least one person. So I, I use the refer a friend and um, you could have them refer two friends and unlock something else or you yourself can receive, you can say, hey, you yourself can receive a free console from me at the end of the class or at the end of the course if you refer at least for three friends. And this will track all of that for you. So that's a nice little hack. So for $59 one time, I was able to get three referrals. I'll call those warm referrals. And if you take my course, um, the six degrees of conversions, there's a different way you gotta convert cold clients versus warm clients, right? Because now that they're warm, I somewhat have control over them instead of them being cold audience. A cold audience costs you five times as much to convert versus a warm audience. So I think I covered that in my six six degrees of conversions. Uh, you gotta be able to set the, the room temperature at the right amount to be able to invite people into your ecosystem. If you ask too soon, then they go away. But if they're warm, there's certain things you can ask for in exchange. And I think I covered that in detail. I may put a link of that course in here as well. Um, so let's go back to the campaigns. And again, don't wanna hold you long. I never wanna hold the audience long. I may, if this gets too long, I'll put chapters in here. But so this is all the campaigns. This is uh, your automate. And what you can see here is once you create the campaign, you can always go back to it and edit it, right? You can do the settings, triggers, fraud, performance, and see how they're doing. So I like that here. So let's let's finish walking through. This is automation. Okay, so this is your automation center. These are where your automatic notifications will go out. And this has SMTP settings. So any auto, any email that goes out will have your email address on it, which I really, really like, right? Um, I think if you go at least tier two, uh, they'll remove the Perkzilla branding, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Some people worry about it, some people don't. I'm kind of up in the air about branding because if other people are seeing my, the company that I'm using, then I want them to use them as well because that, that makes my investment even that more beneficial because that means that the actual client or the vendor will stay in business longer because other people see it and it's brand recognition. So I don't have a problem with that. I, I kind of go back and forth, depends on which type of tool it is. Some over brand, right? And so these are the re different rewards, right? You can click here, this is the automation center and you can set up these different, um, you can put the settings in here like for rewards, what this does is this allows you to go in and customize the reward and you can say, hey, right here, send after 10. After 10 people are referred, after referrals, this is a referral try. Hey, after you got 10 referrals, send this message out. Congratulations, thank you for sharing. You have unlocked uh, a two hour console, right? And um, this is the subject line and this is the name. You change it there if you want. It's got a little bit of customization here. This a little bit, all this is, this is car, um, this is, these are soft codes in here. It's gonna automatically put those things in there for you. Okay, so that is for um, rewards, um, notify, these are notifications, right? Send a notification, you can put the time here. Hey, send it after 10 days from sign up, right? These are the triggers from sign up, send it, right? You could go to a specific date or you can say from sign up. Hey, from sign up, the day they sign up, 10 days later, <clears throat> send them this quick update. Hey, you have 15 entries, you have now 35 points. You know, you need to be able to get so many points. Here's your referral link. Don't forget to send it out to more people. I love this. If you have uh, tier two or three, it'll remove that and you can go in there and remove it if you like. Um, so you won't see that. So then you have an inactivity, right? Person signs up, they didn't do anything, they're sitting on it, this reminder goes out 10 days later, right? And it says, hey, listen, uh, it's been 10 days from the last time you entered any any points. Uh, why don't you go back on and do it? Why don't you share this link, pick up a quick 20 points or something like that. And so that is um, an activity, this is motivate, right? And so you can send this out, it says, hey, you're so close, you only need three more people. This is referral, the referrals, everybody, if I'm gonna refer a friend, right, they're gonna be a warm lead, like I said earlier. 
And so the, you can set the customization and stuff right there. Hey, here's your reward, reward link. You're so close. You're almost there. So you can you can edit that a little bit and say, hey, you're almost there and do what have you. And then this is this comes from uh, the winner circle. Right. Congratulations. Uh, you won. You actually won. You actually beat a, um, an actual contest. Right. You have the campaign deadline sets there. And this is only used for the contest. Right. You're not going to see this um, unless it's actually triggered. Right. And then these are your active triggers that will happen. Um, these are already set up to go out for this particular campaign. OK, and so these are already active. And so that's what you have here. And then you have your SMT uh, SMTP settings. Very simple, right? That was serious, very simple to set up there. Then you have your fraud analysis, right? You're like, hey, what's going on here? This is a high risk uh, IP address I keep seeing coming in. I think they're spamming it or they got some bots. They go and do that. So we're going to automatically dis, dis, uh, dis, um, disqualify that person and they'll show up here. As people come in, they're going to show up here and it'll show you the join date. And they'll say, hey, let's just blacklist that person from the contest. And that's in your rules. Hey, if we find you violating any of our rules, we're going to automatically disqualify it. And you can customize that as well. Then you get to your analytics here, right? Um, you get to your analytics. And it tells you what's going on, how many users we got, so on and so forth. Did some different things like that, right? So then you get to the integrations. Now, I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of tools out. This one has a, a pretty nice load of integrations and they're on the way. A lot of these uh, Aweber is coming soon, right? But a I think Aweber is the only one that's coming soon. A lot of these are already here. I think customerly is coming soon as well but some of these are mostly here already um and so you can configure them and they'll tell you when they're active they'll show up green this is inactive it'll show up green here right i think what i would have wanted to see was having an option to go to if i do two moose ends maybe i want to go to a different list or something like that someone will allow you to pick a different campaign behind them and some of them won't so i think they're still working on that um and so on and so forth, right? So this is your action builder here. This is what actions do you want the person to take when they share? Do you want them to share it on Pinterest? I can add that, right? Share it on Pinterest, share it on Reddit, right? Um, share it on WhatsApp and so on and so forth. So you can do that here as, oh, I don't want them to share it on LinkedIn, right? I don't want them to share it on Facebook, right? I don't know why you wouldn't do that, but these are the different, so when you get the share screen, it's gonna say, hey, where do you wanna share it at? Right. And so this is a, uh, you'll spend a lot of time in here setting up your campaign, um, customizing it, right? This is the live editor. As you make changes, as you change colors, I'd like to see a little bit more colors here, but I think they're working on that as well. You can actually see the form version of it, or you can see the widget version of it. You can see the mobile version, or you can see the desktop version. And um, you can go in for each campaign and set up the different campaigns here. You can do the description. Hey, I want this to kick in, right? I want the emails to be sent out. You can set up your API welcome email. That's going to come from your, um, your API system set up there. You can turn that on or you can do email confirmations to go out and so on and so forth. You can do a lot of stuff here. What do you want to capture? Email only. So we make, let me show you what that looks like. Hey, we're just going to capture the email, right? Or we want email plus name, right? Or we want split, right? We want first and last name and email, right? You can do that as well. Um, and I'll just leave that there. And here you can actually edit this. So I edited my privacy policy and my contest rules. Those go to my actual links on my page. So if people want to see that, they can see that as well. So again, this is just a, uh, the form setup. This is your email. Um, I added this, please bookmark or so on and so forth there. I added that. Added the buddy scholarships. Still testing it out. We're sorry to see you go if a person gets out of the, the program. And those are, and that's, so that's your live editor. You're able to do those things as well. And then you can get the code. Um, I don't know if I want to show code here. Let me show you. These are some different campaigns I have. This is a test one. 
that we did. So that switched over to the test. And let me show you what the code looks like on the test. So from the test, you can get, I mean, not from the test, from the actual code, you can get the widget. Um, you can share the widget or embed the widget on your page. You can embed the form or this gives you a default landing page. And the default landing page is really the form on, a, on their page, on their, with their server, right? And so that's what you would get if you do that. So that's what, that's what those are the different options you get in, in deploying this actual uh, widget here. Um, additional settings are all me, right? That's, that's all personal stuff there. And getting started is just a getting started uh, kind of a walks you through it. And then feedback allows you to get to um, their tech support and stuff like that. So again, I like this little tool. I think uh, it should definitely be looked at. I'm gonna tell you a little, uh, since you waited on this long, I think what's a good deal to me is definitely can do the 10,000, right? And that's tier one. I think the best deal for this type of product or this setup is probably the tier three because the tier three gives you unlimited participants, unlimited websites, and it gives you uh, five sub accounts. So if you are an agency, you might want to say, you know what, let me take on the five sub accounts. Let me um, let me help them do set up their campaigns or let me run them for them. Right. And you can do that as well. And um, so that's what I would do. It gives you unlimited participants, unlimited websites five teammates, remove branding, and so on and so forth. The thing about this one that I like about Perkzilla versus even the other ones that I have, I only have one seat once. So for example, as I close this up, for example, if I run a contest and it goes wildly unsuccessful, I run it everywhere and I get picked up on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And over 3,000 people get into the contest and I only have a 5,000 participant limit. So my first contest I run, I get 3000 people in it. That means I only have 2000 people that I can get in the next contest. So what if I run another wildly popular one and I only get 2000 people? Well, once I got the 5,000 participants, I'm done. I can no longer use that tool unless I pay for the actual uh, membership and things of that nature. Those are the ones that I have and I have to buy more seats to run more contests. This particular um, setup and the one I'll be offering, and you'll see the description below, if you buy a tier three, which I think is $249, um, you can get unlimited participants, unlimited websites. Here's the thing, you can replace the seats. Meaning that if I did a 10,000 person campaign and it was wildly successful, I was giving away something for Black Friday. Hey, you share a friend, uh, we'll call it the, you know, the buddy Black Friday savings deal. You share it with everyone. And say I had 10,000 people get in it, right? I could, after that, after that contest is over, I can just delete that entire contest and I'll get those 10,000 seats back. I love that. So really tier two could work for you. I would do at least a tier two if I was a solopreneur, but if I wanted to have an agency, I definitely would have to do the tier three and get the unlimited. Because even at a tier two, you can do 50,000 participants and always recycle the seats and you get 25 websites. Tier two is really enough for a solopreneur, but if you're an agency, I definitely look at that tier three. There is no one else doing this. And I've been in maybe, I've tested out five or six. This is the easiest setup. This one is the easiest setup, and this is the only one that gives you your seats back. So it definitely should be looked at. Listen, I'm Jenny Jones here. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm always giving you guys these different hacks. I'm always going to, it's going to make sense for your bottom line if you should do the deal or you shouldn't do the deal. And um, trying to help you guys save money out there. Please look, subscribe, um, sign up for my VIP. I got something really, really special that only the VIP members are going to get once we uh, officially launch and open the club doors. Um, Hope all is doing well. You guys take care. Be safe out there. Goodbye for now.